Well, good morning. Welcome to build day 11 of the Haunted Tents experience. It's going on about 10.30. And I'm just getting out here. Kill myself getting out here. I've got to get this plugged in. This is for the dragon. And I need my hand that's holding the camera, so hold on here. Uh, there we go. And let's see here. Today on the docket, and I'm using this word in honor of that barb girl. It's going to be a mishkabibble day. <laughs> a very mishkabibble day. The next two days are going to be mishkabibble days. There, you got the word three or four times. You happy, Barb? <laughs> uh, on the docket for today, uh, we got errands to do. I've got to go down to Home Depot. I need to get black paint, PVC pipe glue, and the correct keys for the fountain. We get home from that. First order of job, uh, first job is going to be mowing the backyard and getting the weed eater out here and mowing the maze and the haunt. So, got that. And then the third project is going to be getting the fountain together. Fourth project is getting in here and painting, finishing the painting. I got, you know, some of the boards on the back sides need a uh, coat of paint. Uh, some of the posts need a little touch-up I'm noticing. And we've got the pirate to do. And then we've also, like I said, we got the fountain, the paint. And then after that, I am not too sure what we're going to be doing. Uh, well, actually, I am kind of sure. Uh, what we have to do is we got to start bringing props out for the five displays that we've got gotten done. I don't know how far we're going to get on that today, or if we're going to get to that today. But if we don't get to it today, that's definitely what we're going to be doing tomorrow, and that's going to be getting props out here. And as soon as I can get my larger props out, then I've got a wall here I could put up, a wall here I could put up, and I could do the maze path here in the uh, photo hall which is a zigzag switchback, at least up to the curb. It actually stands out onto the uh, driveway a little bit. And I can't do that until Monday. So uh, that's kind of what's going to be on the dock for the next two days. But the uh, Home Depot run, the painting, the mowing and trimming, and the fountain are on the dock for today. So now that we're over, oh, I almost forgot. Breakfast of the day. Don't want to forget breakfast of the day. Let's see. You know, I'm not a real big fan of them, but I had someone ask me, I can't remember who it was, said that he loved them. So, well, whoever you were, and I apologize for forgetting, Maple Bar. I'm not a real big fan of Maple Bar. So, we're going to do it two different ways here. Maple Bar or Cream Filled Maple Bar. I love Cream Filled Donuts. I don't know why. And no comments from the peanut gallery on that. Uh, so, cream filled maple bar or maple bar. And a tall glass of hot tea. <laughs> Your choice. Earl Grey, Lipton, Red Rose. One of the new funky ones you get in an espresso. But there's your breakfast of the day. I'm going to put this thing down. Kaylee's coming with me to help me run errands. So, uh, we're going to go run some errands. Well, not much progress to report. I am moving very, very slow. Uh, we made it down to Home Depot, got my supplies of paint, glue, and the teas. Made it home, took a couple hours off. I just sat down to have lunch and just sat there and spaced out. <laughs> so I know I'm running on low energy. we glad when this weekend's over. Uh, just got done mowing the backyard. We've mowed the haunt, or trimmed the haunt. I used a weed whacker to do that. Morgan's heading out right now to get her stuff. She's going to go out and rake the whole haunt. Provided she can get the garbage can off the peg. There you go. So she's going out to do that. Me, on the other hand, I'm just moving into the shop. We got all the miscellaneous pieces all over the place of the, of the fountain. So I'm going to start putting the fountain together. Let's see how long this one takes. Okay, fountain is assembled. 
Uh, the main fountain pieces are going to be the two legs and across the top. This is my fill tube. And then these will go out to support the uh, two other pipes. And I glued everything together except for these corners here. I left it so I can swivel them and stop if I need to. And if I need to lock them in the place, I'll just drive a screw through it. Did that on both ends. Uh, now while this is done, still have a little bit more work to do on it. I need to come in here and measure every two inches and drill a hole on both the legs and this top piece at the angle I want the water to come out. So we're going to do that. And then once that's done, we'll set it up out in the backyard. I'll get the pump, the hose out, and a bucket to put the pump in so it's got water. And uh, we'll give it a test to see how she works. Getting real close to testing, people. Well, we're doing our first test run on the uh, pipe. And the pump's keeping up with it, not a problem. But we're not getting the coverage out the size that we want. The holes, too many holes and the holes are slightly too big. The original uh, drill bit I was going to use broke on me, so I had to go with the next size up and it's a little bit big. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to unplug it and we're going to come back through and we're going to plug every other hole on here. And then uh, come out and we'll have to test it again tomorrow after uh, my patch job is dried <laughs> and see how that does and then if we only get up you know to maybe here on the leg we'll just go with that because I kind of like the drips off the top but I like the action down below here well just getting back out here after dinner and I'm trying something a little bit different with the fountain. I was going to go through and just plug up some of the holes. That would increase the pressure in the pipe. What I wanted, though, originally was a smaller hole. And the bit I was going to use broke on me. So I had to go with the next size up, which made the holes too big. And then not enough pressure built up in the pipe, uh, you know, due to water coming out. Well, and that's why I was going to plug a couple of holes to help build up pressure. Found a fix, I think. Uh, I went and put, there, get this straightened out here, some quarter inch barb connectors. Find these in the irrigation area. Uh, they're for uh, connecting two pieces of quarter inch tubing you use with uh, like drip irrigation and what have you. Uh, found that using a hammer, I can hammer those into the hole. You know, you can turn them, what have you, but they won't come out, I'm hoping. Uh, so I went and put those in each of the holes uh, that I had drilled into the pipe and the holes on the barbs are way smaller than the holes I drilled in the pipe. So I'm hoping that will help the pressure build up so I can get all of them to work. I'm just getting ready to go out and give it another test and let's see. We got it working and that's working a lot better. All the jets are running. I need to go through and clean the tips out a little bit. Here and there, and I'll do that when I take her back into painter. But those little nozzles I put on is giving me the effect I wanted. Now, the question is, we have the set dresser out here, playing with KK. Is that set dresser approved? Yes. Do you like that better than the old one? Eh. Eh. Yeah. She's probably still going to get wet from it, though. So. Possibly. Possibly. So, well, now the next step is to unplug it. I still need to go through one thing I forgot to do after I put these black little tips in. It kind of smashes the plastic a bit. I need to go through and clean the tips on all of them. So I'll do that before I get a coat of paint on it. But we'll get this painted tonight, I hope. Someone wants me to come out and play. But it ain't going to happen. At least not for a little bit. i got to finish filming this clip. Then we'll do some play play. Huh? <laughs> no, in the evenings when I get done out here, if I'm working in the shop, we go out and we play. Her, her internal clock has it set. Uh, she was driving Sue nuts in the house. And 
she ended up letting her on. I said, Mike, you deal with it. <laughs> but anyway, we got in here. I went ahead. Yes, I know I got my cookies are done. Uh, I got the nozzles cleaned out and we got it sprayed blue. So, technically, we're officially done. It just needs to dry and then I can put it out in the haunt. Uh, I still have the grill here. Both pieces in here. And I need to get those out in the haunt. They don't need any painting. But, I picked up something new at uh, Home Depot. Made by Rustoleum called Glue or Glow in the Dark. I think it sprays on as a clear. And it's one of those ones when you charge it by uh, light, it glows. I was thinking of covering the piping for the water wall and the grill with this stuff. Uh, the blue, which is a fluorescent blue, doesn't glow very much or not as bright as some of the other colors. So I think I'll give it a little extra kick and I'll spray some of that stuff on and see how it works out. And I got one or two other props. And uh, here I'm going to try it on them because they're going to be going in the water room. Some new store bought props. I picked up uh, the butler at Costco and one item on, that was on clearance at Spirit today, or a couple of weeks ago actually. So uh, I haven't vlogged those. You'll see them when I go to put them out in the haunt. But the uh, one, uh, the one I got at Spirit, it's going to go in the water room. I was thinking about hitting it with the glow stuff. It'll be a lot quicker spraying it. But anyway, we are done out here. I think for today, uh, it's a little after eight o'clock. It's going to take about twenty minutes to edit, and up to actually, it's going to take about forty-five minutes to edit because it takes a while to save it after it's edited. And then probably about another 20 to 30 minutes to upload it to YouTube. So maybe tonight I can get into bed by 10 instead of 1 a.m., which is when I've been going to bed. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go give you guys the end of the day wrap up. And we'll see what's what from there. Sorry, I'm trying to get my phone to stop reminding me I have cookies. Well, end of the day wrap up. Didn't get quite as far as I wanted to today. Yeah, so there's not that much footage on the uh, camera. Most of it's uh, dealing with the water wall. But nice thing is, is the water wall, other than spraying that glow in the dark paint on it, which will take all of 10 minutes of that, the water wall is officially done. That's one more project checked off my list. Which means it could kind of, I can get all the pieces for that damn thing together and get them out into the water room tomorrow. Uh, today was a lazy day. I slept into almost 10 instead of getting up at 6.37 like I have been doing for the last month. Uh, I actually slept in for a change, which felt awfully nice. Problem is that I've been groggy all day. And I kept going downstairs to get something. And I'd sit down for a second. Oh, I'll have a cigar. Now I'll have another cigar. Oh, let's check the cell phone. And before you know it, two, two and a half hours have gone by and I haven't done shit. I've just been sitting there spacing out. <laughs> so it's been one of those days. As a result, we got the backyard mowed. We got the haunt weed eated or weed whacked. Did mowed the grass with a weed whacker. That was fun. Morgan came out and raked it for me. Which was nice. She was out here for over an hour doing that. Takes her a while to do things, but she does a decent job. Uh, then went in and worked on the water wall. Spent the rest of the day working on that dang water wall. And I didn't get very many snapshots or uh, pictures for Instagram. But, like I said, water wall's done. It will get moved out in the haunt tomorrow. The one thing that was on my list for today because I went down this morning and picked up black paint, was to get out in the haunt and finish spraying the black paint. With all the little breaks and stuff I kept taking, I never made it. So I know tomorrow we've got our regular Thursday errands, and then, which will be the last Thursday we have errands, I hope. 
since we've only got this one last weekend and I'm home for the winter as of Monday. Uh, but when I get, we get back from running our errands and we get the truck and stuff loaded uh, for going on the road, I'm going to get out here, I'm going to get the black paint sprayed. Get that done and over with. And then I think we are going to hit the uh, shed out back and that little dump of Halloween stuff I've got back there and start sorting through it. And whatever can come out here into the haunt is going to come out here into the haunt. And if I've got the energy and the time, we're going to come out and or we're going to go in, hit the basement, and there's some big pieces down there that go in the water room and in the pirate display. So I can start getting, you know, that stuff out. Uh, don't really have anything really big that will be going into the uh, chain hallway. I do have the stocks that need to go in the chain hallway. And then I've got the round table that goes in the gypsy display. But that comes in in two pieces and they're both actually rather small. <laughs> so they're easier to navigate the haunt with. But uh, I'm going to try you know, getting some stuff out here. I know tomorrow night I haven't decided whether I'm going to tarp. Uh, I don't know why I'm pointing the camera over there. You can't see it's too damn dark. Normally when we start putting props in I put a uh, tarp over the doors. You know so people can't see in and see what's in there. But with us being gone and on the road, I've got two sheets of plywood extra. And I could just bring those up and tack those up and over the uh, doorways and then no one can get in at all. <laughs> I might do that. I don't know. Again, depends on how much energy I've gotten, how far we get tomorrow. But uh, other than that, I shall catch you guys tomorrow. Stay spooky. Stay toxic. <laughs>